So the question may be why another church in Chandler, Arizona? And I think from what we've experienced and the people that we've talked to, there's over 300,000 people in the city of Chandler alone. Um, no church could be big enough to reach them. We have been serving as youth and young adult pastors for over a decade now in California and Arizona, which has been an amazing experience in the dynamic churches we've been able to be a part of. We've been able to learn in leadership. We've been able to grow in our theology. We've been able to experience what it means to actually um, lead people and to see a transformation in their lives and taking them through that transformation with Jesus Christ. What we believe is that there's a specific individual that God has called us to reach and they're waiting for a legacy to come. At this time in our society, uh, I think the public perception of church has shifted. Um, for a lot of people, it's a place identified with hurt more than hope. And we want to shift that perspective. And we specifically at Legacy want to target the unchurched, the de-churched, and the over-churched. What does that mean? Unchurched people are those who just don't know Jesus. They don't have a relationship with God, and we want to introduce them to Jesus. The de-churched are people that they've distanced themselves from the local church. Maybe they've seen or heard things that have caused them to deconstruct their faith or just to distance themselves from organized religion. Um, we want to re-engage them with the beauty of the body of Christ. Uh, and then thirdly, the over-churched. Those people are just, they're over it. They're over-churched. Maybe they were burned. Maybe they were um, hurt emotionally. Maybe they were part of um, an organization that um, did not accurately reflect the love of Jesus Christ and they saw some things or experienced some things that, that scarred them. We want them to rediscover their joy for the local church. We want them to, to be able to look at the church as a place of hope, not hurt. The more we prayed about it, we actually realized that Chandler was everything we were looking for. It was diverse, it was full of young families, it was full of people. And it's growing. And it's growing, yeah. It's the perfect space for people to learn to lead, lead their families, lead their communities, lead their social circles, and not just fit in, but, but stand out in a way that, that reflects the love of Jesus to the world around them. When it comes to launching Legacy Church, um, we want to launch well. We want to launch in a way that's, that's strong and then sustainable. And that's going to require a lot of marketing dollars. That's going to require a lot of dollars for um, equipment and resources. There's already this stigma that the church just wants my money. Yeah. So we believe that it's essential for us to come in funded so that we can just bless people without asking anything in return. And so our goal is to raise $600,000 by June 15th of 2023. The first $300,000 we want to reach by the end of 2022 so that we can start 2023 already fully funded for that year. And then the second $300,000 that we need to raise is so that we can continue to do ministry at a high level and budget it efficiently for the next two years. And what that does is that ensures that as we come into Chandler, Arizona, we already have a plan and we already have resources to be able to bless people and to be a benefit uh, to the area. In our perfect plan, we thought we would just work remotely and we'd pay for the church ourselves. Yeah. Like that was our plan is that, you know what, God, we'll take care of this and you just bring people. And, um, and you were fighting for that. Yeah, I was. I was fighting for it. Yeah, because um, we just didn't want to have to ask anybody. Like yeah. it was our dream. It was our vision. We thought we should be able to handle it. And um, I'll never forget in the summer of July this year, um, when we got, I got the phone call that we were being let go from our jobs. That was a hard pill to swallow. And that was kind of like that test of which one are we going to hold on to more? That was a, a, a tough decision. Do I fight to keep my job or do I fight for the dream and the vision that God's placed on our hearts with Legacy Church and, uh, and trust that this was his church, not our church, and that he was going to provide. And so, um, we did. We made that decision to just go all in on Legacy Church, and we haven't regretted it at all. A pastor once told me, he said, you know you're hearing from God when it's bigger than you. And it's allowed me to know that Legacy Church is bigger than us. 
It is something that we cannot do on our own. It is something that has brought us so vulnerable and uncomfortable to be able to say that we want to make a difference in this community, but and we are stepping out in faith in doing that, but it's going to take us to be that walk first in order for others to follow us. We have to go first. We have to be those trailblazers in that way. And for a lot of people out there, others are waiting on you to walk in that faith as well. We've been blessed by some amazing financial partners, um, Union Chapel Association of Churches, um, some very generous donors from within the family of Legacy Church, and people that have already started giving and tithing. Um, we're already at $70,000, a little over $70,000. And that's exciting for us because it shows that so many other people believe in the vision and mission of Legacy Church. But what we're asking now is that other people who feel aligned with our heart and our vision and they're believing the same thing, that they want a legacy of faith and a legacy of love and a legacy of sacrifice um, to be echoed for their lives and for their families that you would partner with us financially. There's two ways that you can partner with us for the Legacy Campaign. The first way is to give a sacrificial donation of a sizable amount. What that does is that allows us to close the gap on hitting that $600,000 goal. Everything you give will go towards launching strong and then staying strong. The second way that you can partner with us is to commit to giving a set amount for 36 months. Your giving for the next 36 months ensures that we can accurately predict and project where we will be financially as a church so that we can efficiently and effectively reach and meet the needs of the community around us. There's multiple ways to give to Legacy Church. You can mail checks and cash to P.O. Box 1659, Chandler, Arizona 85244. You can also give online at our website, legacyaz.church. We want to thank you in advance for your generosity. And remember, every dollar you give goes towards ensuring that people can actually experience the true meaning of on earth as it is in heaven.